Hey folks, Right Side of History here. It's been probably two years since I've made a video and uh, finally time to get off my ass and uh, drag out the camera and actually show you something fun. There was some inspiration to finally show you something. I used to show you all kinds of knickknacks and pieces that I picked up, but uh, panning back here, let's have a look. This is my uh, sort of coin collection showcase in my family room. It is a jeweler showcase made of locking uh, special glass doors with alarms and, and special lighting and glass shelves. Um, yeah, this is where all my fun stuff is shown. It's not kept stored away. It kind of comes out so everyone can see it. Of course, the whole reason you're here is because of this piece. <laughs> this is a very recent arrival. This is uh, the whole point of this video. This is a 1,000 plus ounce uh, .917 SS Gear Sopa door bar brought up from the bottom of the ocean by Odyssey Marine. Their expedition, as shown here on the backsplash that I put in there, um, was the largest precious metals recovery from the bottom of the ocean in history, just last year. And there they are with the, the, those, these are the bars coming up and being pallid and so on. That's what they look like on the bottom of the ocean. All brought up sort of in baskets, uh, you know, four kilometers, kilometer or so, a mile deeper than the Titanic from 1941. Um, sank coming from Bombay, India to uh, to the UK. Um, yeah, here we'll open up the door to have a closer look. Now these do have markings on them. Um, we'll zoom in here and have a close look. I, I, I am in, in conversation with, with Odyssey Marine. Um, they did confirm this is only one of approximately 10 to 12 uh, of these 917 bars that are left on the planet unscathed. The rest were smelted. These are not one of the 999 bars. There was approximately 450 of those distributed to the public. These were not distributed to the public. Um, so this is one of them. Uh, they have a few in their lobby that they have for private keeping that they'll keep probably forever, corporate ones. The rest, uh, probably six to eight, went to Amark, the mint that did the, uh, the commemorative 999 rounds and bars. And uh, yeah. Now I have one. Mine did come. Mine is one of the Amark ones. So one down for Amark. Here it is. It's mine. <laughs> so anyway, it's a beautiful piece. Um, it's got all of the patina of being on the bottom of the ocean. All the organics are, of course, washed off it. But the beautiful markings and, and stresses of, uh, you know, patina of being down there. It almost looks like gold uh, leaf on it in places. On the right here, I do have a spot where I'm going to put a, a continued display of some of the uh, the uh, the one ounce rounds and the ten ounce bars and the quarter ounce Britannias from the UK. But anyway, that's the bar, and here she will sit amongst my other fun stuff. Let's just take some final last close looks at the uh, the edges. Beautiful, beautiful markings um, on this piece. Seventy five pounds plus. It's heavy, boys. But anyway, um, there she will sit for now. This will probably be the only one you'll ever see on YouTube. I'll tell you that. Maybe something in the future here will cause me to emerge again, but for now, the world needed to see a 1,000 plus ounce Gare Sopa bar because there's not one video of one on YouTube other than this one. Um, at least of the 917s, anyway. <laughs> Thanks. Bye-bye.